Hey everyone! Today, we're diving into the world of positivity with Positive Mind, Positive Life. 7 CBT Techniques If you're ready to boost your well-being, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's jump into the transformative power of cognitive behavioral therapy. 1. Identify and Challenge Negative Thoughts Identifying and challenging negative thoughts is a practical way to improve your mood. It's like catching yourself when you're thinking negatively and asking, is this thought really accurate or am I making it worse than it is? By doing this, you take a step back and look for evidence that supports or disproves those negative thoughts. It's about switching from a gloomy outlook to a more balanced and positive perspective. This process empowers you to reshape your thinking, leading to a more optimistic and resilient mindset. It's a simple but effective tool for boosting your overall well-being and happiness. 2. Behavioral Activation Behavioral activation is about doing things that make you feel good. When you're feeling down or not motivated, it helps to plan and do activities you enjoy or that give you a sense of accomplishment. It's like making a schedule of things you like and sticking to it, even if you don't feel like it at first. By staying active and involved in positive activities, you can lift your mood increase your energy, and make each day more satisfying. It's a practical way to break the cycle of inactivity and low mood, bringing more joy and fulfillment into your life. 3. Exposure Therapy Exposure therapy is like becoming friends with things that make you nervous. If, for example, meeting new people makes you worried, exposure therapy helps you practice it step by step. Start with saying hi to someone friendly or joining a small group. By doing this more often, you slowly get used to it, and it becomes less scary. It's a bit like making a new game out of something that used to make you uncomfortable. Exposure therapy is a way to show yourself that facing fears can actually make you feel more confident and less stressed. 4. Cognitive Restructuring Cognitive restructuring means changing the way you think to feel better. Imagine if you often think, I'm not good enough. With cognitive restructuring, you challenge that thought by looking for proof that you are good enough. It's like being a detective, searching for evidence to show that your thought isn't true. By doing this, you can replace negative thoughts with more positive and realistic ones. It's a bit like turning a cloudy day into a sunny one by changing the way you see things in your mind. This technique helps you feel happier and more confident in your daily life. 5. Self-Compassion Practice Self-compassion practice is like being a good friend to yourself. Imagine if you make a mistake and feel really bad. Instead of being hard on yourself, self-compassion is about treating yourself kindly, just like you would comfort a friend. It involves understanding that everyone makes mistakes and that it's okay. So you say comforting things to yourself and don't judge too harshly. It's a bit like giving yourself a warm hug when you need it most. This practice helps you feel more at ease with yourself, reducing stress, and making your life more positive and supportive. 6. Behavioral Experiments Behavioral experiments are like friendly tests to see if your thoughts are true. If you believe something negative, like, I can't do this, a behavioral experiment helps you check if it's accurate. You might try doing the task step by step to see what really happens. It's a bit like being a curious scientist in your own life gathering evidence to challenge your doubts. By doing these experiments, you learn more about your abilities and often find out that you can handle more than you thought. It's a helpful way to break down barriers and build confidence in yourself. 7. Problem-Solving Skills Problem-solving skills are like using a roadmap to tackle challenges. Imagine you have a problem, like feeling stressed or stuck. Problem-solving involves four steps figuring out exactly what the problem is, brainstorming different ways to solve it, thinking about the pros and cons of each solution, and finally, choosing the best solution and trying it out. It's a bit like being a detective, finding clues, and deciding on the best way to solve the mystery. By using these steps, you can face problems more easily, feel more in control, and make your life a bit smoother and happier. Thank you so much for joining us on this exploration of positive mind positive life through CBT techniques. If you found these insights helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share with your friends, and subscribe for more uplifting content.